Welcome to the Two Chicks Homestead Podcast. We are the Two Chicks. Yay! Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Aaron, and we talk about homesteading and living on a small piece of land. All right, everyone, welcome to episode 92, mm-hmm. April 10th, 2024. Yeah. So it keeps on ticking. I can't believe we're four months into this already. I know. I think spring is finally here. Yes. Doors open, windows are open, mm-hmm. the screen went on the front door. Yeah. So. The kids ate breakfast outside, or lunch, or something. Oh, very nice. Very yeah. nice. So, with spring coming, that means projects get started. Yeah. And I am probably half, three quarters of the way done with the composting outhouse. Yeah, I mean, there's a building there. It looks like an outhouse. Mm-hmm. So I got to get the door and do the interior. Yeah. But it's got four walls, a roof, a base, pretty much set. So yep. I have um, the compost bags in the cart. Ooh. But we're going to do also a um, like a thing on the wall that you push for hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. And yeah. there's like five million of them. Oh, yeah. Just pick so one. I know. Pick one. Pick, pick one. one. Pick one. <laughs> um <laughs> That's from Moana. I was I, I was gonna let people guess uh, what movie it came from, but <laughs> if you don't have kids, it's from a cartoon. Um, but yeah, I don't think we want a manual one because then it's like batteries, and I think you could probably push it and get. Yeah, one you just want a hand pump. Yeah, I mean it doesn't need to I be didn't anything special. Realize there'd be so many. So oh yeah, there's a million of them. Yeah. So what there isn't a million of is motion lights. Oh yeah, we gotta do that too. So, I've been kind of looking. Like solar. Yeah, I want a solar motion light. That's not going to blind you like the one we have for the chickens. <laughs> right. I mean, the one we have for the chickens, a thousand lumens. I want a, like, flat mount, wide, enough to light it up when you walk in and stay on for a couple of minutes so you're right. not waving your hands right. every couple seconds. <laughs> that happened to me a couple times at LFTN in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. I think at Jen, when Jenny's, the other yeah. house. Um, yeah, all of a sudden you'd be sitting there or doing something and then all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, it's dark. Yep, and of I'd... course you imagine like all the spiders coming out. Oh yeah. You know, like going, yay, they're gone. Mm-hmm. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're on, we're on the hunt for a light. I got to see yeah. what we can find. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, the main thing is get the hand sanitizer in there, get the box inside built and get the door on it and then hardware and all that other fun stuff yeah so yeah i mean it'll be painted eventually i don't know if it'll be painted before the event yeah we should that's not like we should probably get it done sooner than later because i did notice the water kind of sits a little bit um i'll figure something out if we can tilt it one way or the other because we got a lot of rain that day Mm -hmm. and i noticed there was some water sitting on the deck so i want to make sure that's not going to be an issue yeah um, seal the cracks on the outside. So yeah. We paint over that. Try and keep it somewhat dry inside. Yeah, we haven't fully decided on a color. No. Nope. Something neutral. Yeah. The neighbor requested. Yeah, just so you're not looking at a big red outhouse mm-hmm. when you pull onto the piece, you know, property. You know, yeah. like a green or a blue or something. Yeah. So, gray. You know, something brown. simple. Yeah. Not shit brown. <laughs> yeah i don't know if there's any like history behind like outhouse colors you know how there's like red barns i don't know yeah yeah we'll have to figure that out look into it and see what it yeah. is because the red barn comes from out the red the comes rust. from rust right in the paint so i mean that's our chicken coop is red yeah and that's pretty standard mm-hmm. um we don't have the rabbit hutch painted no that's just bare treated wood so it worked out pretty good. Yeah. So well, I think the rabbits we didn't want like Hello. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um we just kinda wanted it to be like a shelf yeah. outside. Yeah. Um so speaking of rabbits, we still have I think all of the kits are still accounted for after the rat fiasco. Yeah. Um so we still have twenty one kits outside. They're getting big. Mm-hmm. They're weaning off a mom. All yeah, of them. Yeah, hopefully this weekend we can at least mark the moms. Yeah. Even with, you know, marker in an ear or something. Yep, yep. So that's always an issue that I have when I go to process them. 
Because a lot of people don't realize how fast these rabbits grow. Well, and like the silver fox, Gracie, I mean, her babies look like mini her. Oh, like, yeah. They're like exact, the same gray, yeah, almost like fizz gig from the Dark Crystal, just like poof their hair <laughs> <laughs> yeah they they are very poofy um they're very pretty yeah i am um, there's only four of them out there but it's nice to see that i mean yeah. they're they're cute yeah so when you can see them like they're very skittish even though we're in there a lot yeah they're all skittish yeah. so um you caught one yawning yes. the other day yeah so, took a picture of that, and you ended up posting that on the page. Yeah. So, I thought that was pretty good. And then when I was out there feeding them a little while ago, one of them was yawning. Yeah. Again, so, <laughs> didn't have the camera ready that time. Well, you just got to be, you know, quick. Yep. But they are, they're definitely growing. They're definitely making a mess out of the feed, because mm. they only eat, like, a little tiny bit of the feed. It's almost like, do we need to get crumbles when there's babies? Yeah, they don't make crumbles, though. That's the problem. Oh, they don't make it. No. Oh, okay. It's only pellets or hay. Yeah. So and hay is a mess. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, you have to figure out some kind of tray to go underneath. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe at least c- to catch some. Some more. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to make sure they're not pooping in the tray. Yeah, which they don't... I don't know. Well, we've had the one sitting... Um, God, when we had them in the hutch... Or in the shed. Um, Luna's kits used to sit in the feeder. Oh, I don't remember that. I'd go in there every once in a while. You'd see one just chilling in the feeder. I mean, thing. they're always doing that at Rural King. Like, they're always sitting in the food bowl. Oh, yeah. Just a small spot. They yeah. like it. So, but yeah, I am, uh, I'm pretty excited how this is going. Um, we may have some available during the event. Yeah, limited. Yeah, very, very limited. Um, and it all depends on if we can sex everybody out and if we have enough. enough. Like, we could have all females. Yeah. We, we never know. Yeah. So, but there could be the possibility we have one or two that we could um, supply. Mm-hmm. So, if you're interested and you're coming to the event, that could definitely be a thing. Yeah, just let us know ahead of time. Yes. So we kind of have an idea. Yep. So shoot us an email if you are interested in getting some kits. Um, if you just want like onesies and twosies, we can hash that out. If you want a full trio, it's going to be very limited. Yeah. So uh, they'll be when we have the event. They'll be nine weeks, so mm-hmm. they'll be ready to go. Yeah. This is one of those instances where it's like them going in the freezer is worth more than the money. Mm-hmm. You know, like, we don't do this to sell. Right. We've tried that, and it was... Yeah, but... <clears throat> All right, so anybody who knows us, and I, I will come out, flat out say this, we don't have pets. Mm. We don't handle them. We don't play with them. They're not acclimated to a 10-year-old come running out and wanting to pick them up. Right. That's not them. They're livestock. Mm. They get spooked easily... They may scratch you a little bit. There's a reason I have Kevlar sleeves. Yeah, I mean, we're out there a lot. But yeah, we're not picking them up. Just because if they fall, they're gone. Oh, yeah. I've already dropped like one or two of them. And it's it's just picking them up. And that's the thing I always worry about moving the does and with the bucks when I go to breeding. That they're going to book it and take off. That's why when I transfer them, I use a kitty litter tub. Mm-hmm. with the door on it so i like scoot them in there close the door take the door out of the cage put the kitty litter tub in with the box open the door and yeah. just kind of nudge the dough out yeah just so I, we don't drop anybody and we don't hurt anybody i mean we have like a, a round play pen thing that we've used for chicks mm-hmm. that we've talked about setting up out there so the kids could sit in that and play with the babies but then it's like why you know mm. like it, it's it's not, yeah it if we were selling them for pets that would make sense yeah but yeah there's not really a huge reason to do right. that unless they just want to 
play with the bunnies. You know? Right, exactly. And this is the time of year where it's starting to stay lighter later. But usually when we have kits, it's the middle of winter. Yeah. And I'm not outside right. handling them. Yeah, you're letting them stay warm. Yeah, that's you let them chill out and do their thing. Yeah. So, but a lot of them, eventually as they get older, develop their own personality. Like, a lot of the does that we have are super sweet. Mm-hmm. Like, Gracie is super chill. Judy is super chill. Mary loves pets. Yeah. Like, she comes running to the door. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing I did notice, Mary is a little protective of her kits, but not in a bad way. Mm-hmm. Um, we have one in there. One of her kits right now has a eye issue going on. And it's nest box eye totally normal we've dealt with this before i'm fairly certain that's the issue we have with thor and it just never worked itself out yeah although his dad was missing an eye yeah right yeah he's one-eyed willy yeah so um but it this kit is doing better i mean at one point both of its eyes were closed we're Mm. checking on it and taking care of it and now both of them are open so that's a huge deal. It's still eating. It's still drinking. It's still running around right. the cage. It's reality. Nest box eye happens, and you do your best to fix it where you can. Sometimes yeah. you can't. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's uh, definitely getting crowded out there, yeah. and we're really going to start blowing through the feed. Yeah. <laughs> So, I got a 55-gallon trash can full right now, and I would venture to get guess we're probably going to fill that two or three more times. Mm-hmm. So, that'd be another 12 bags of feed over the next yeah. couple of months. Yeah, which, so. I mean, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's a catch-22. It's not cheap. No. But it's ours. Right, exactly. And I figure... Honestly, to raise a kit from start to finish, you're probably 30 bucks a rabbit, mm-hmm. $10 a pound, give or take. So, you know, you end up with about three pounds when it's all said and done. Yeah. And I at the store, it's $10 a pound. Yeah. So that's my justification for that. So, but it's homegrown, home raised. It never leaves the property. Right. It's ours. Yeah. And it's semi-closed loop minus the feed. Right. So, but if I think if we had to, we could probably figure it out. We have enough stuff around here. Yeah, if it came to, like, end of the world mm-hmm. time. Yep. Yeah, just uh, pull Australia and let a couple does loose with a buck and see what happens. (laughs) Soon you have 2.9 million rabbits. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm excited. Yeah. It's nice to finally see it. I know you're happy about it. Yeah, well, it's just one of those things where it's like, you know... We got a lot of money put into it out there. (laughs) And for it to not be working is like, how are people having so many and we can't? Well, we finally figured out the hack. Keep them in together longer. Yeah. So, and walk away. Yeah. It's just nice to know that our, you know, the freezer is going to get full. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. And you're happy about not doing meat birds this year. Yes. So we, one of our favorite people in the area posted they're raising meat birds and opened up um registration for it pre-register so they're planning on doing 300 birds they opened the pre-registration for 200 birds and they sold out in less than a week Mm -hmm. i think yeah and it was five birds a person that's a good deal yeah so and that's uh sorrell's who we got our rabbits through. Yeah, Sorrel's the, first, the yeah. first trio. We've gotten a few singles from them, mm-hmm. too. But, yeah, Sorrell's was our first set of meat rabbits. Mm-hmm. And they grass-fed beef and pasture-raised chickens. and. Yeah, we've gotten other meat. We got a bundle mm-hmm. once, and then we've gotten a beef heart and 
yeah. there's some other random things in their little shop. Yeah, and the girls love going down there. Yeah, I mean, they got a big purple cow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the big purple cow, a ton of rabbits, and... And just super nice. Yes. I mean, he talked to us for ever. Oh, yeah, it was a couple time. hours, yeah. 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 And he let the girls feed the pigs graham yeah, crackers. that's right. So, the, God, the girls love that. We yeah. w- walked out to the pasture, and he calls the pigs, and they all come running over and hands, them a, hands the girls a box of graham crackers. Goes, yeah. Here you go. You get to feed them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. But, but yeah. yeah, it's just kind of nice to not have to worry about that. And it's and it feel I feel like we've we've done our time. Like, we've done the meat birds mm-hmm. multiple times. We yeah. know how to do it. Yeah. And now we're at the point where it's like, we don't want to. No. We don't want to deal with it. Right. We've right. got plenty of other, other options. Things. Yeah. And we were talking about processing the birds, our layers this year, the older flock. So we have a mish- mishmash flock out there. They're a year apart from each other. Yeah. It's half and half. And we are talking about processing those, and then you look at them, it's like... You guys don't have any meat on you. Well, they're pretty big, though. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I was just... In my head, it was like, you know, for stock mm-hmm. or soup. Yeah. You know, you never know. We might be able to try it and maybe try skinning. You know, yeah, that just might not be a bad idea. Just, just skinning try it. and call it And if it, it doesn't day. work, we were going to replace them anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is definitely the time, the year that we're going to replace the older one. Yeah. And we'll probably go get a mishmash of yeah, this cool time, ones. this time we get to do a mixture. Right. And then next year we'll probably do, maybe do Red Rangers. Or, yeah, I don't know if it's next year. I think it'll be then in, we don't do it every year. Every other year. Two, they're two years old. Right. Yeah. So, so it's ev- so every year we will replace half the flock. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's true. So... And it, just, it, wor- it worked out last time because we just, here's your friends. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now we kind of know what to expect. Mm-hmm. Where last time, I mean, we we kind of pushed it where they weren't going inside the coop. Yeah. And now we kind of know how to do it better. Yeah. I And it honestly worked that it time. It worked. I mean, but it was like within like a day or two that they then started laying. Yeah, exactly. So um, I know they were kind of walking up there a little bit and getting yeah. used to it, but I we now have that figured out. Yeah, and it was a new to us little room, too. I mean, we added on mm-hmm. and it's, then got them. Yeah, it's not the easiest to get them in there, but it is what it is. And actually... This is gonna. It is gonna be different, because the younger ones now kind of live in the new portion. The older ones are in the old portion, and now these next new ones are gonna live in the old portion. I don't know where everybody's sleeping because I have, so, I haven't opened it up to look. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So. I guess I just assumed that they kind of stayed separate, but I don't know. I don't know either. And we can't really look in the new section to see who's in there because there's no window. Yeah. Well, I, I, can open, I can look through the doorway. Yeah. Shine a flashlight in there and see where everybody is. Yeah. So, it's always an adventure. Yep. So, we'll, we'll be doing that fall chicks this year again mm-hmm. and let them get a little bit older as they, you know, winter happens and start laying in the spring and then they're off yeah, to the like races. Yeah, it's like January, I think. Or so that they would start laying. Yeah, but that's also when it starts getting lighter out. Yeah. So, and we're still going to supplement light. That's just easy easy to do for us. Yeah, because these ones we got early. We, yes. We usually, we like doing the fall chicks, mm-hmm. but we got them early because of the... It was the panic buy yeah. because of the village, yeah. Yep. We wanted to make sure we had everybody here, grandfathered in, no problems. Mm-hmm. So, and it worked out pretty good. Yep. But, but yeah. I'm excited. Um, yeah. So, I got all my seeds done. Okay. Um, it's one of those years where I don't know what I'm doing again. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, pl- I like pumpkins. I did pumpkin seeds inside. I don't right. know that you're really supposed to. But I had one pumpkin. It's like two inches tall. And none of the other ones have yeah. come up yet. <laughs> so, I've got one pumpkin and peppers um the herbs mm-hmm. um 
and I have one flower coming up. So, yeah. I'm trying not to panic. It's going to be what it is. I think it. I think it'll happen. Unfortunately, I think you're thinking that the sale that you go to is going to be during the event. Yeah, and actually, they haven't even posted yet that they're having one this mm-hmm. year. So, I mean, it's not the only one. I just know that I bought a lot of stuff from there last year, and they all did really good. Right. So, I might be able to get a hold of the lady that run is was running it and see if maybe I could do like a pre-buy. I don't know. Yeah, that might be worth a shot. She came to our chicken processing class. Oh, she did? Yep. Okay. I cannot remember her name, but I'm sure I could find it. Yeah, go look it up. Ask her if you can buy it. Yeah. If you can order something, go pick it up Thursday. Yeah. So, at least we got it. That way you get pick of whatever and yeah. do what you can. Yeah. So, that that would actually be a very smart move. Sometimes my brain I know. works. Yeah. Wish mine was like that. It, it, I mean, it's only <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> but, yeah, it's... Uh, we're going to have a busy couple of weeks coming up. Yeah. Um, do not forget that we have the event coming up. If you want to come, tickets are available. They are on the website. They are only a dollar. Yes, That's they are. That's the real price. <laughs> a whole whopping dollar. Um, if you want to give us the dollar when you show up, click that. Yeah, I think that option is in there. That option's there. Just let us know who if you're bringing somebody, adult. Mm-hmm. Each adult will need a ticket. Kids are free. Let us know if you're camping. We'll figure it out. We got plenty of room here, so mm-hmm. I am. Uh, I'm excited. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to have it happening before all the gardening and all the busyness of the summer. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like the kickoff to. Yeah. Where I think last year was it was the end of yeah the year so it was like oh crap we have all the stuff to do now <laughs> right yeah <laughs> but i think it should be good timing before the cicada emergence that it shouldn't be too, too loud. loud yeah maybe by like a week though yeah i didn't even think about yeah. that so so i don't think it should be too bad that early but I'm still very interested to see if the chickens will eat cicadas. I, I hope so. I am banking on them, like, gorging themselves and us going, wow, we haven't had to buy feed in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I have no idea. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So. I don't know if they'll eat the ones. I mean, they fly. So it's almost like you have to catch them when they first come out or something. I will, I don't know. I don't like their when they first come out. I like when they have the wings. You could figure it out. I know. So you break a couple wings off at the end of the world. <laughs> break a wing off, throw them the chickens. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, but it's like one of those things where it's like, man, if they like them, do I freeze dry some? Do I want to put those in my freeze dryer and have them as snacks? Is it even worth it? Like, I don't know. Yeah, cause were we were we getting freeze dried mealworms? Was that what those things were? I, I don't know if they were. Or were they freeze- dried mealworms? I don't know. I have no idea. I think they were freeze dried. Actually, I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could do that. Yeah, I, let's <laughs> not. <laughs> I don't need a our three thousand dollar plus <laughs> freeze dryer full of cicadas, <laughs> and then do a batch of. Strawberries <laughs> or uh, gummy bears yeah. or <laughs> I don't think those flavors mix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's like, man, if they like them, it'd be kind of nice to stockpile a little bit to at least have yeah. treats. But I don't, I don't know if I could do it. Just go buy another freeze dryer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> Hey, you got permission from me. Go do it. Yeah, well, I don't have permission from the room that we have in the house. <laughs> yes, that is true. Or the circuit that yeah. we have in the house. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, be interesting to see how that plays out. Yeah. I'm kind of hoping it's loud. I want... So, when I grew up in Glen Ellen and they came out, the trees would be like six feet... Mm-hmm. From the tree of just cicada shells. Like, yeah. 
everywhere. Like, people were sweeping them Mm -hmm. with, like, the big brooms. And you couldn't even hardly talk during the day. Mm -hmm. My brother and I, I mean, this was, like, well... 17 years ago. Well, but 17, 17, so whatever that is. 34. Yeah. So I was 10. Okay. Maybe 8 or something. You know, the... First time I yeah, remember. Yeah, you're, you're the age of the kids now. Right. And my brother and I, I mean, we had bricks in the backyard for whatever reason. We'd make them little, you know, castles and <laughs> just scooping them up and putting them in. I mean, it was awesome. And then, yeah, I mean, then the, the, then the next one, I don't remember it as much because I was a teenager. So. Mm. Yeah, you're still at home. And I, yeah. I remember that one because I was... The last one, I think I... Was I working for a regional back then? Oh, 17 S- years ago? We're coming on 14 years being married, so... Yeah. That might have been like the first year I started there. Yeah. My God. <laughs> Where the hell did this got time go? Yeah. But anyway. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it is out here. But I think we'll we'll take a trip... Out to Glen Ellen, mm-hmm. just to kind of see how it is. Yeah. So Next, we got the two broods coming out, and I think it's, we're right on the line for both of them? Um, I think it's a little south of okay. us. It was like central Illinois was the, the line. Okay. Well, either way, it's still pretty close. So. Yeah. I know we got a pretty wooded lot in the area. I know. Yeah, I mean, you think about it, it's like they live underground, so if like... A big area just got built up with houses, then all those larvae are... I don't know. I don't know how it works. Uh, yeah, but you also look at it as they could be torn up with all the grading. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you just don't know. So it'll be interesting to see. I mean, we always have some every year. You yeah. hear a little bit. Yep. Yeah, you'd see one on the front door, right. or but yeah, on a tree outside. I love, I love them though. But I mean, just walking around outside, just get hit by them in the head, and <laughs> I mean, they don't—they're harmless, yeah, which is nice. At least yeah. they're not like biting you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see how the girls I react. <laughs> I know. I think our little one will be into more, it more nah. really no, i think she she's the one that picks up worms and gives them yeah that's and... true <laughs> yeah the oldest is probably gonna be the one that doesn't want anything <laughs> to do with them and comes running in the house crying yeah yeah let's go with that <laughs> but yeah. they're here for like six weeks oh yeah so it's it's not a short amount of time well, six weeks of the oldest downstairs in the basement hiding yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Whatever. Yep. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but I think that's all I got. All right. Well, I think it's going to be a pretty short week this week. So make sure you guys, if you want tickets, jump on the website, get them, and we'll shoot you the address and an email afterwards. Yep. I need to get on that because I know a couple people have bought tickets here and there, and i got to get that sent out. Yep. So, um, But, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yep. See you guys later. All right. See you on the homestead where something is always growing, eating, or cooking.